Hey! Okay, YouTube. So should we try again? <laughs> Welcome back to part two. Um, you, you last left me with this little beauty here. Um, basically that bolt being stripped out of there completely. And I'm glad to report that, and I'm impressed with the company that, uh, that supplied these. I will of course leave a, a link in the description. Um, it's Tuesday and these turned up around lunchtime today. Some brand new ones. So, bolted on, bleed it up, and uh, jobs are good. Um, I'm going to do the one side for now because the missus needs to use the car a bit later. And then at the weekend, I think I'll put that one on, maybe do another quick update video of it. But um, yeah, so I'm going to link to the, uh, the suppliers of these because I uh, ordered them on Sunday and they turned up today at uh, right about 12 o'clock, I think, uh, dinner time. So, excellent service. Um, right, let's get the wheel off and let's get it fitted and let's get this little job put to bed. Okay, wheel off. Um, obviously pipe is still up there, clamped off. Uh, all I've got to do from the old one is drop that pipe off there, put it on the new one and uh, should be good to go. Well, luckily that came off drama free. Um, I don't need any more drama now. As you can tell from my last video, I was um, a little bit dishevelled to say the least. Right, let's get it bolted on and uh, yeah, should be a couple of bolts to slap it back in place again and then bleed it up. Jobs are good. Un. Oh no! Uh, before I put it all back together I'm going to give these a bit of grease as well they look pretty good but they're your sliders that basically sit in there so that goes in and out there to let your caliper move so I'm just going to put some grease on those to make sure they're good and uh, put it all back together again so there you go one new brake caliper and it went on completely dramaless I'm glad to report so we just take the, the mole grips off there and uh, all I've got to do now is get my easy bleed out. Um, now obviously the problem I had with the old one was the bleed nipple in there was completely screwed, it had been butchered. But this one, <laughs> we're doing this live guys so let's, uh, let's make sure it should in theory, if I leave it open, oops, it should leak a little bit out. Uh, what I'm going to do now is get my easy bleed, uh, show you how that's connected up and then put some pressure behind the system. Quickly bleed the bleed, <laughs> start again, quickly bleed the brake off, that's easy to say, but not when you're drunk, not that I'm drunk, but there you go. And um, yeah, in theory we should be good to go. Um, yeah, completely dramaless. It kind of um, makes you think I should have done this in the first place and just bit the bullet, but there you go, we live and learn. Try and save a, a few pence and... Uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. Sometimes you're just better off replacing old worn out parts for new. Simple as. Right, let me stop waffling. Let's get the easy bleed out and uh, let's get it done. So this is how I bleed my brakes. Um, basically, I've got a bottle here with uh, some wasted fluid in it. That then goes, and do it slightly. That then goes on there. You want it a nice tight fit so you don't get any spillage, like that. Okay, so that's on there for any stuff that comes out and that goes into a bottle. Obviously the pipe's right down at the bottom so no air can be dragged back up again. And this is my Easy Bleed. Um, only about 20 quid, but well worth the spend. Basically what you've got is a bottle that holds fluid. That cap goes onto your reservoir. And then you basically connect this up to a maximum of 20 psi, which uh, I've got an old wheel with 20 psi in it that I use for this. So I'll get it connected and uh, show you how easy it is. So obviously Eddie's trying to make things as difficult as humanly possible. Um, so your reservoir is down there. 
that does both your brakes and your clutch and uh, that's what comes out the top of it a little bit difficult because of uh, all this stuff on top um, my reservoir is there full of top four and my wheel is down there so what I'm going to do now is basically connect this up which um, let me do two hands back to you in a sec there you go so we're connected up there we're connected up there and fluid is coming out really quickly <laughs> So I'm assuming I left that quite loose. Yes, I did. So that is it. Um, pretty much, <laughs> I have bled the brakes. It's as simple as that. So I just nip that up. Not going to force it up like the last Muppets obviously did. But um, there you go. That's bled that one through. So obviously you can see the fluid's gone down. So it's pretty obvious that the fluid has gone out. So obviously what you can do is take this top pipe off and have a look, but what I want to do is just unscrew that, have a look at the pipe. Hold on a sec. I'm going to try and do this one hand, but just to prove that the bleed process is working, just undo that, and there you go. Pressurised fluid being pushed out. There you go, no air bubbles, no nothing. So everything is good, that one is now bled. I'm going to nip that up, pump the brakes a few times, and uh, see where we are. So the brake is bled, uh, the dog is being in the wing. We're spinning good, I've got the help of my able assistant who's going to uh, push her foot on the brake. Now? Yep. There you go, we are. <laughs> go on, push it hard, go on. <laughs> Yeah, I can't spin that there, so uh, give it a couple of pumps for me. It's good, okay. So, we're solid there and let it off. And we're spinning. There you go, that's success. Right, can you pull the handbrake up and down a few times? And this is how you adjust it up. Okay, so handbrake off. Okay, spinning there, handbrake on. Rock solid. So, folks, we're going to call that a success. A bit better than part one. Uh, all I want to do now is well, I'm just going to quickly go around and check the brakes, uh, bleed the brakes on the other side as well. Um, like I say, probably at the weekend I'll change uh, the the near side one, but this is the one I want to get on for now, definitely, because that was the one that was the problem. So it is on. It is working. Everything is good. Uh, no leaks apart from the ones I've created. So um, clean it up and uh, we'll call that a good job. Thanks for watching all. Laters. Splash it all over. <laughs>10 minutes and it's off. Um, I can say this one doesn't seem so bad. Uh, 
probably would go okay but uh, I've got two of them what the hell let's get it changed before it actually fails And yet again, no real drama getting the pipe off. It's nice when it all goes together. There you go, just do that finger tight, connect that up to the top one. And uh, yeah, soon be done. Both bolts are in. Uh, obviously, did them up loose and then cracked them up as a final turn. The pipe's still loose at the moment for one good reason. That goes back in there like that. The pipe goes inside. Um, yep. <laughs> there we go. That goes in there like that. Um, the clip holds that in place like so. Oh, need two hands, hold on. Actually, before I put the clip on, let's tighten that up. And then we'll put the clip on. Yes, it could be tricky. Right, now I need two hands. Okay, the clip is in place. Just tighten up the pipes. That one there. And that one there. Like so. Again, you don't need to hanker off them too much. All right, let's release the pressure. And now, in theory, put the cloth underneath it. If I just quickly crack that off, I should get some fluid coming out of it. Um, and then we'll pressurise the system again with the easy bleed. And uh, we're about finished. Uh, yeah, nothing coming out yet. But right, let's get the easy bleed on it. Make my life a lot easier. Okay, the system's pressurised. Crack that. Ooh, I can hear lots of lovely bubbles. There you go, so that's just bleeding into there now. I'm not going to show you it again, but believe me, it is. I can hear it. I think that's enough. Quickly knock it up again. Right, two hands. <laughs> All right, that's quickly done up again. As you can tell there, I was, I was fighting against it. The tube was trying to turn it back as I was turning it forward. But just to prove that we've got fluid up there and everything's good, I'll just quickly, let's do this without blocking the camera too much, quickly knock it open. We should have, why do I do this thing? <laughs> why do I video stuff? It's just too hard. So there you go. Fluid coming out, like so. Just quickly nip that up again. Don't want to put too much over the floor, make a mess. And that, as they say, is that. All right, so that's everything in place. All right, my able assistant is going to push on the brakes three or four times now. And hold the brake down. As you can see, rock solid, let it off. Nice and free, handbrake, off, do it, pull it up and down a couple of times, okay, off, yeah. we're spinning, and on, and we're rock solid, right, that is definitely it, both sides done, car's good for another 150,000 miles, even though it hasn't even done that yet, right, so, Thank you for joining me for part two of this two-part uh, calamity. And uh, yep, I'm now going to finish putting it all back together, put the wheels back on, and the missus is going to go shopping, ain't ya? <laughs> With the dog? Maybe. With the dog? Ooh. Do you He'll, be say allowed. He'll be allowed in if I put a mask on him. He'll be fine if I put a mask on him, yeah. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Say bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, everybody.